Atari 8-bit computers. This is a great alternative for people that do not want to deal with the Atari 5200 controller system. Um, there's so many positives about collecting Atari 8-bit computers, I could go on and on. But I only have about five minutes, so here we go. Uh, pretty much the Atari 8-bit computer line started way back in the 70s uh, with the Atari 400. There was several, several versions, um, Atari 400, 800. Um, there's only a few that I actually recommend. Obviously for collectors, the Atari XEGS is uh, kind of nice to have. Um, I got lucky and was given one boxed. There are several peripherals for the Atari computer lineup. Uh, there is a cassette drive, uh, several different ones. Um, don't bother with these. There's also the disk drive. Now, disk drive is pretty nice to have. Uh, what's nice about Atari um, disk drives is that they're not as clunky operating system as the Commodores. You stick a disk in, load, done. What I do recommend is there's, there's two different types of collectors out there that want to play Atari computers. There's uh, people that collect vintage computers that want to tinker with the, the computer aspect of Atari computers. And then there's the, the gamers that just want to play the games. I'm in the latter half. Uh, I'm a gamer. Uh, I am a console collector. I am not necessarily, uh, number one, a computer collector. So this review is kind of coming across as I'm a gamer. I like to play games. And Atari computers had some tremendously awesome games. So the console I recommend of all the, the versions for multiple reasons, is the 800XL. First of all, this thing right here is built like a tank. It is fairly inexpensive considering some of the prices of some other classic video game systems and computers. It is built like a tank. It has a very nice uh, slot on top right here for the cartridges. The cartridges here uh, are smaller than a, a standard 2600 cartridge. And, um, like I said, these are things are built awesome. Nice uh, controller ports on the side, in the back, various uh, um, cable outlets for various connections. The pros of this uh, console is that it it plays nearly all nearly all the um, Atari 8-bit computer lineup. Nice sleek design, well built. The, uh, as you know, this computer lineup it was was not cheap when it came out. It was much more expensive than the Commodore lineup, and and, and the quality shows. It is is definitely built like a tank. The nice thing about the uh, this uh, version of the computer is it takes a standard AV cable, uh, non proprietary, which you can get um, online. And like I said, uh, there's even S-Video modifications that you can uh, connect this uh, computer up to a, uh, an S-Video TV. Uh, power adapter is kind of a pain. Uh, if you get one, make sure you do get uh, a specific power adapter for the Atari 800XL. This is the one I recommend. Uh, like I said, the, other, the main benefit of, of collecting Atari... 8-bit computers, especially this specific one, is the games. There are several of the wonderful uh, Atari 5200 versions of the games, but you don't have to deal with that stupid controller. It takes a standard 9-pin controller. You can play with your classic 2600 controller or the other 5 bazillion other third-party uh, uh, controllers. Heck, you even use a Sega Genesis controller. Have fun. But like I said, um, this is the, the one I recommend. You know, there were several other versions. Uh, I have a 600 right here, uh, 600XL. They're all great, but this is the one you want. Get the 800XL computer. Um, this is the box to it. Again, a lot of this was donated to me. Um, just someone trying to get rid of it. Typically, you can get these uh, fairly inexpensive. Uh, like I said, the games are going to be the hard part to get, but I'll discuss how to bypass that hard problem with the game section. Thank you for looking at this.